Okay, good evening, Aquabog Elementary School families. Thank you so much for joining us this evening for our fall 2020 open school night for third and fourth graders. My name is Brian Miltenberg, and I am the principal of Aquabog Elementary School. I'm joined tonight by our assistant principal, Mr. Gary Carlson. Good evening and by some of our wonderful special area teachers and service providers whom we're going to introduce in just a couple of moments. So this presentation is also available uh, simultaneously in Spanish, and I'm gonna give you the instructions now uh, for how to do that. Si desea escuchar esta presentación en español, Haga clic en el botón más en la parte inferior de su pantalla. Seleccione interpretación de idiomas y seleccione español y silenciar el audio original. Entonces escuchará a la señora Caravana traduciendo al español. Okay, so we have a very, very important person, an Aquabog VIP, joining us uh, tonight to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. So, Tiana, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Oh. Can you hear us? Please yeah. stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, and of liberty, for liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, uh, Tiana, for leading us in that very powerful version of the Pledge of Allegiance and kicking off our night. So, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, welcome to Aquabog and to our returning families, welcome back. We wish we could be seeing you in person this evening uh, as we've done in prior years, but when I think that just a few months ago, we really didn't know if we'd be able to open our school back up at all. Uh, I am just so proud to be able to say that we have had a very successful reopening and uh, it has been an absolute pleasure to have your children back with us to start this school year. And for that, we want to say thank you. Thank you to our families. Thank you to our amazing staff members. Thank you to our community members. And thank you to our students uh, for all of your support, all of your hard work over the past six months. Uh, we truly could not have done this without you. And it is such a privilege to get to lead this great group of people. Uh, this is my second year as principal in Aquabog, and despite all the challenges that have come to school leaders everywhere the past year, I just feel so lucky and grateful to be in this position, so thank you. Tonight is all about taking the next step in building your relationship with your child's teachers, in better understanding their school experience, and the journey that they will be on this school year. Uh, this is a school year like no other, and your child's teachers are going to share with you both uh, what's going to be different about this year and what's going to be the same. Our character trait of the month at Aquabog is flexibility, and we're asking all of our, our staff, our students, families, ourselves uh, to be flexible this year as we figure out exactly how to best serve our students in this new environment. So our teachers, our staff members are innovators. They're going to be trying new things, they already are. Some of them are gonna be home runs, some of them may not be, but ultimately we are in the process of scaling up uh, the best possible way to do this, this very new kind of school that we are all in. 
And uh, ultimately, I'm confident that we will get there. So I hope you leave here tonight with all of your questions answered. But please know, if you have a question specific to your child, you can always follow up with your child's teacher. And if you have a school, a general school question, you can always reach out to me or to Mr. Carlson. So before we send you off to the teachers, I want, I want to point out uh, a few things that are gonna be helpful resources to you. So our Aquabog Elementary School distance learning page has everything that you're gonna need to navigate this school year. So when you go there, you're going to see our complete, uh, what we call our reopening handbook that answers every possible question you might have related to school reopening under the new guidelines. So that's anything related to health and safety, mask wearing, social distancing, transportation. Uh, we also have our fully updated regular parent handbook that goes through everything you could possibly want to know about school in normal times. And on top of that, you can also get a link to our Facebook page where we post updates and uh, we've been posting videos daily since school closed all the way back in March. And that's a great way to stay connected. So technology is playing a much greater role uh, in your child's education this year than ever before. And that can be exciting, but uh, that can also be scary. So we're here to help you navigate through that because uh, no matter what model you're in, uh, you know, a great percentage of your child's learning this year for this moment uh, will be done remotely. We still believe that can be a great educational experience, but it's very different and requires a different level of support. And before I turn it over to Mr. Carlson, please just make sure we have the most up-to-date possible contact information. Uh, it's more important than ever um, for obvious reasons. So our assistant principal, Mr. Gary Carlson. Thank you, Mr. Miltenberg, and good evening, everybody. Um, if you've seen or heard other communications from us, uh, undoubtedly you heard us discuss and celebrate the team concept. Uh, together, everyone achieves more um, concept around here. And we apply it to every set of relationships that play into our school community. So certainly not just administrators and parents or classroom teachers and service providers. If you're hearing the message right now, um, then that spirit of achieving more together is intended for you. And we know that our families model that mentality as well. And we thank you for celebrating the success of one as success for all and vice versa. Um, over the course of your years as part of Aquabog Elementary School, um, you'd be surprised just how many paths you'll wind up crossing. Uh, every adult that steps foot in this school strives to be a helper for your child. And we're pleased to have some of those helpers joining us this evening. So when I introduce you, if you would like to just say, uh, unmute and say hello, feel free. Uh, Ms. Brown, one of our ENL teachers. Hey everyone, how are you? Ms. Busdecker, one of our special educators. Hey everybody. Ms. Gabrielson, one of our reading teachers. Hello, everyone. Nice to meet you. Ms. Hingson, one of our physical educators. And Ms. Popo, our school social worker. Hello. And Mr. Samora, our math teacher. Hello, everyone. Hi. Mr. Samora messaged me that his video is not loading, but if you know Mr. Samora, you know he's smiling and you know he's <laughs> waving. So hi, Mr. Samora. Thank you. Um, when we talked about school reopening, um, we asked the question, um, you know, how, how are the children? We took a child's eye view of the reopening process together and in assessing how the year is going for them, um, let's do the same thing. 
So if we were to list out all of our hopes, concerns, energy, uh, they really fall into these three categories. And let's take a look at how the children are doing first through a social lens. Uh, socially, being back in school, whether virtually or physically, has lifted their spirits immensely. Being connected to friends, classmates, teachers, and all of those helping adults we just met uh, feels exactly like coming home. We're playing, we're laughing, we're teasing. I mean, I have to be honest, there's a little bit of that that works its way in. We're reacting, we're connecting every moment we can in classrooms and definitely the non instructional spaces as well. Emotionally, being back to learning and connecting has been so healthy for our students. While there have been some normal adjustment pains for a handful of students, um, they're all proving to us how flexible they are when they trust that we have their best interests at heart. You can't fake caring about a child. They will absolutely sniff that out in an instant. And being around caring families at home uh, paired with the nurturing environment at school is truly been the best of both worlds for them. So once the children are secure socially and emotionally, we can really maximize their academic potential. Across all class settings, students and teachers are working hard to gauge each child's learning and build long-term plans that are responsive to their varied starting points. That's always been a really powerful part um, of a teacher's job. And this year, more than ever, we'll work to move each child along a kid, uh, according to his or her needs. Uh, we thank you for encouraging those positive habits at home, which are even more vital this year while learning in this hybrid model. Your investment of energy pays off each time your child returns to school and is that much more ready to maximize our time together. So going forward, I leave you with a reminder to please keep reinforcing the measures which have allowed us to reopen so safely and successfully. Please continue to encourage masking, spreading out, and hand hygiene at all times so that we can continue to provide as comprehensive an education as we can. Whether it's Tonight, uh, tomorrow, a month from now, Mr. Miltonberg and I join the rest of the staff in welcoming and encouraging contact with you. We will initiate much of it, but please keep that conversation going yourselves through calling, emailing, messaging to strengthen the partnership uh, that's paid such a powerful dividend for your children. And before we send you to meet with your teacher tonight, please lend your attention to the president of our dynamic and supportive PTO, Mrs. Jen Sednowski. Hello, and thank you. Hello, everybody. I am Jen Sednowski. I'm the PTO president. And as you can see on the screen, our vice president is Cindy McLeod. Jasmine Corwin is our secretary, and Kristen Fox is our treasurer. I'm here tonight to talk briefly about the importance of the parent-teacher organization. While the PTO serves many purposes, the main two functions are to enhance the facilities and opportunities for the students and provide programs that enrich academic and social lives of the students, as well as their families. We are only able to provide these through fundraising because we are not provided funds through the district budget. For example, due to the efforts of the PTO, we have made it possible to pay for field trips, presentations from artists, writers, musicians, physical fitness workshops. We also host family fun nights, school dances. We have a student holiday shopping event and so much more. Up on the screen now, you see our current October calendar that has just um, come out. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the future is undetermined for many of the things that the PTO pays for and sponsors. However, we want to be financially prepared to provide for our students any way that we can. 
um, now and in the future if things should change. We raise funds many different ways. Our most profitable fundraiser of the year is traditionally our annual craft fair and Chinese auction. Unfortunately, we've opted to cancel this event this year. However, in its place, we are doing a Aquabog school fundraiser via a yard sale. And that's what you see up on the screen now, which is next Saturday, October 10th. It will be uh, donated items um, from the community, as well as we will be doing a 50-50 raffle. We will be selling apparel, snacks, and drinks. We are still collecting donations through next Wednesday, so you can contact any of the PTO board members and um, please send in your volunteer forms. We cannot do it without the support of volunteers. Some of the other ways that we raise money and funds are through a catalog fundraiser. We have a scholastic book fair. We sell Aquabog apparel. We also earn funds, as you see on the screen, by scanning and clipping box tops. And in addition to that, if you link your reward cards to Stop and Shop and ShopRite, we also earn reward money that way. So it's, it's a very simple way to do it. All of these forms are also on our uh, Facebook page, which I'll address uh, in a minute. The PTO does a lot, so we need a lot of your support. Uh, we fully recognize the busy lives of parents, and are, we will welcome any time that you can provide to us. There are evening and weekend opportunities to help, as well as projects that can be completed in the comfort of your own home as well. PTO meetings are generally held on the third Monday of the month at 7 p.m. As of right now, they will continue virtually until further notice. So look for that information uh, on a monthly basis. Meeting attendance is very important. Um, this is the time when we discuss school updates, upcoming events, fundraising progress, and how funds are spent. This is also an opportunity for sharing ideas and providing feedback. We are only four people that sit on the board and we have over 500 students uh, traditionally in our school and we need the input from, from everyone um, to really do the best job that we possibly can. We do send home monthly newsletters to keep everyone to date. They will go home in a hard copy, they go home uh, through email and they will be posted on our Facebook page as well. So uh, as Mr. Miltenberg also addressed, please always make sure that your email is to date and accurate. So if you're not receiving emails, you can contact the main office. The Facebook page for the PTO is Aquabog PTO. This is a great place to ask questions, find updates about events, school, provide feedback and much more. Um, we also have a Aquabog Elementary School page where the principals will provide daily morning announcements as well as general information. So these two are really great resources um, to, to be a part of on a daily basis. Um, in addition, the PTO can always be reached at our, our general email, aquabogpto at gmail.com. And your involvement in the PTO enables our students to have more and enables them to be able to do more. And we, again, need all of your help and support to do so. So that's it. And thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Mrs. Stepnowski. And uh, thank you to our parent-teacher organization, for all the work that you've done and all the support you've given us. It's truly tremendous. And uh, it really enables us to do what we do and to you know, keep all out of the special things um, that we've had in place for a long time. So it's very, it's very, very powerful and meaningful to us. Okay, so at this point, um, we are gonna let you get over and meet your child's teacher. And this is a very proud moment uh, for us because we are just very proud of our staff members and we think you're going to love them. Your child's going to have a great year and uh, I would consider myself very lucky if one of my children had any of these staff members as their teacher uh, this year. So enjoy your evening. 
Um, please reach out to us with any questions or concerns, and we'll see you all soon.